vehicle came. This particular vehicle came from Slovakia, if my uh, my nose is correct, the nose for these things. Um, 90 millimeter short is the only tank that the Allies had that was really a match in combat to the uh, Tiger tank. After World War II, these were in fact the only American tanks that were still in production at the end of the Second World War. And they kept producing them until about uh, the early part of 1946. The next to the M36, we have the M24 Caffey, which is a light tank, armed with 7,500 miles. This particular vehicle came from Germany, and it's powered by two V8 Cadillac engines. Don't ask me why. Um, it will, walk, it will run in forward gear on one engine, but if you try to reverse it, it's impossible because both engines feed into a common gearbox. So you can drive it in forward and gear, and it's fully automatic. You can drive in first gear, forward, but you can't reverse it. Next to the uh, M24 Jaffe, we have the MA Darwin car. This is uh, also built by Ford. Um, and is armed with a 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. Um, Wide reconnaissance vehicles used by the British Army uh, at the end of the war, and they went under the name of Greyhound. The problem for the M8, for the M8 was that the uh, armor plate is very, very thin, and even an armored anti-personnel mine would actually destroy the uh, armor plate under this vehicle. Next to the M8, we have um, another M3 half track standard US half track with a, a winch in the front bumper. And in fact, the next uh, half track is also in the street. That also has, that also has a, a winch on the front bumper, standard uh, armored personnel that carry it for the Allies during the war. And next to that is another M3. But my particular favourite is an early M3 with a roller on it uh, on the front rather than the winch. Um, I think they found after a few years in, or a few months in service they were better to have a winch than a roller because then the half track could pull itself out of trouble whereas it couldn't with the, uh, with the roller. And down at the far end 